Let's add another fruit to our collection. Uh, this one is going to be a lemon and the reason I've chosen that one is for the shape but also because it's going to introduce you to a technique called using a resist. So let us just roughly get the lemon shape in. A dimple at each end, don't they? So let's get that in. Let's make out that this is the stalk end. Okay. Okay. Now, to get this resist, what it is, it means it's actually that the paper is resisting the paint. So we're going to use just an ordinary bit of a wax candle, make sure it's clean um, and white one. And what we're going to do is we're going to rub it lightly over the surface of the paper. I'm imagining that the light is going to be coming from this direction so I want this wax resist to create highlights on the raised bumpy bits of the of the lemon. And then I'm going to go to my lemon yellow or as near as you've got Oh, it's nice bright citrusy lemon, isn't it? And can you see how the wax is stopping the pigment? It's forming a barrier between the pigment and the paper. And all the pencil marks. Let's give us an idea. Just there. And then if we put a little bit more variation in the yellow. Oh, look at that colour run. Isn't that fabulous? And there you have your lemon. Simple as that. You could use this textured effect on an orange, an avocado, uh, any any fruit, vegetable or whatever that needs that texture. Okay. Um, in other um, situations you could use it on landscapes, on the side of buildings to show that it's uh, an old building. Let's put a little bit of shadow in the bottom. Ooh, too dark. Let's let that run in there while it's still wet, rinse the brush off and just draw that out a little bit with the water. See how it makes those lovely little star bursts and that's caused by the, the texture of the paper as well. So there's our nice shaped lemon and then why not let's just put a bit of shadow and it doesn't matter if it bleeds see how that paints grey which has a slight blue tinge mixed with the yellow gives it a sort of a greeny hue. Let's have just a little bit of the dimple at the other end. Well it wouldn't be a dimple would it be a recess because that's where the stalk would come out. And when that's dried off I would go back under there with a bit more the dark colour. Let's do it now. Let's do it while it's still wet. Easy. there's your lemon. Two different colours of yellow, the wax resist, put a shadow in, let's just have a little bit more just to show it shows the dimples because as the lemon is textured you'll get 
shadows and highlights on that textured surface. So there's no reason why you couldn't just dot a few more bits about. Oh, look at that lovely cauliflower shape, that lovely, lovely cloud. Very nice. Don't want it at the moment, though, so I'll just... But that's the magic of watercolours. They do all sorts of lovely things if you leave them alone. Let them tell you what to do. There we go. So there's your lemon with your wax resist.